welcome to your general love read. This is for July 20th through the 26th. However, time can be fluid, right? So whenever you come upon this, if it resonates, that's when it was meant for you, okay? Um, it may not resonate as a general reading. If you'd like a personal reading, there are links in the description box for that, for my Patreon program. Um, all of that stuff is in the description box. Um, if it does resonate, please go to the extended. The program is $5 a month. It gives you access to all of the extendeds and bonus materials. Right now I am doing a bonus of a daily Monday through Friday, um, current energies, you versus them. Um, so anything new I try out, I try out in the extended program. Okay. So if you're new to the channel, thank you for joining us. Um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe because I will come back to these videos at the end of next week. And whichever video has the most loving contributions from this week, I will release a bonus building on this video. I start off my readings by pulling a card for the collective from my Mindset Unicorn deck. Then I uh, pull out Intention and I pull out the Foundation. Okay, so this is for the collective. So even if the reading isn't for you, you probably will get something from the Mindset Unicorn card, okay? After I go through all of that, I will clarify on the foundation. Then I will pull bits and pieces from it to clarify more so that you are a little bit more um, in depth on what's going on between you and your person. At the end, I will pull some cards from the universe, an Oracle card, and when I move into the extended, I do exactly the same thing for the flip side energy. Okay, so if this is mostly about you, the energy in the extended will be mostly about your person. Okay, so Aquarius, let's get started. Thank you. Okay, so what's going on? Possibilities of love. Aquarius. Okay, sorry, HIPAA thing popping up. I am a holistic coach as well as an intuitive, and so I have a HIPAA thing on my phone. Sometimes it pops up when I get a message to make sure that nobody can read it because it is password protected. Okay, so for the collective, you get energy, okay? So focus your mind on energizing thoughts today and allow all of the positive energies of the universe to flow through you and flow back for the highest good, okay? That's the channeled message. So the quote, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, fre frequency, and vibrations. Okay, so uh, definitely you are raising your vibrations, I feel like, okay, because the intention for this reading, all right, is completion. So whatever you needed in order to move forward, um, to ascend a little bit higher, you have finally figured out this last piece of the puzzle and your overall energy, okay, is this rebirth card, okay, death. This is moving again to a higher ascension, uh, figuring things out, which is beautiful energy. Past energy, okay, we have Knight of Wands. You may have been going through a little bit of an uphill battle, okay? Currently, your energy is you're ready to move forward, okay? Especially after this completion, right? You are ready to move forward towards what you have been wishing for. Future energy, we have the balanced pentacles, okay? So very good energy there, really bringing back. Um, I feel like the sense of balance that may have been missing for you. Okay, so I feel like this rebirth is coming at a perfect time. I feel like there is something, okay, with this Five of Cups that you have been freezing out. And I feel like it's finally opening up to you, okay? Because you have this beautiful happiness coming in, as well as 
this is the page of swords putting away that fight okay no longer feeling that you have to like be forcing the truth forward ah, they have a lot to say now if you remember we actually didn't use this deck last week We did not use this deck last week. Okay, that's hard to, it's getting hot in here now. So, now they have a ton to say. Bottom of the deck, the lovers, okay? There could be an underlying energy that this is what you were trying to bring forward. Yeah, so uphill battle, okay? I feel like, all right, you were trying to bring some playfulness into your life, some happiness, some joy, right? However, I feel like there was this energy, okay, that was really egotistical, okay? And I feel like whatever this masculine energy was, okay, it was blocking, all right, this sort of younger, more open energy, okay, from coming forward in order to really work on new, I guess like a new, I don't know why they're giving me like diplomacy. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so current energy, okay? Here we have, okay, that four of pentacles where um, you could be, you know, bringing someone forward into your life, which is, okay, ace of cups, new foundation. These very much go hand in hand, okay? <coughs> someone needed to hear that. There's that <coughs> a big asthma. Someone really needed to hear that. And this is an end of a cycle, okay? Hearts have been healed. Foundations for the future are being laid out, okay? Okay, so future energy. This balance is returning, okay? And... The, I feel like it's because the answer of whether or not this person cares about you has been answered, okay? And it's bringing you this inner strength. I feel like it is the end of someone being out of contact, okay? Someone was out of contact in their higher energy. I feel like this is them being done with that, okay? As well as um, this is about things being out of sync, out of synergy, okay? Things are coming back into alignment. Okay, so on the overall energy on this rebirth, what you have been icing out, okay, for some of you, I feel like it could have been someone that you were bound to and things were not going well. And this completion is now bringing it back into alignment. For others of you, it was perhaps you were not allowing an energy in because you were still bound to something. However, okay, things were returned to balance, okay? And this is bringing in that inner strength within you in order to bring in that happiness, okay? Underlying energies here again, okay? This is on um, that death card with the um, five of cups. We have again, the death card. So it could be that it was an, for some of you, it was an ending, okay? That needed to happen. And 
now that ending, either way, whether it's walking away from someone or renewing it in a higher level, it has happened, okay? Or it is about to happen. Yeah, this past energy, okay, was definitely needed. It was needed to be a little bit of a struggle. Okay, I feel like you knew what you wanted. But again, okay, King of Cups here needed to go through a little bit of struggle to get things into completion. All right. But it was divine timing for this to happen. I feel like what was holding back, okay, this night from coming forward, okay, was just the night was holding themselves back, okay? And um, I am getting for some of you, okay, this could be a relationship with two men, okay? That is a very, I feel like minute um, energy, but I do feel that, so I wanted to let that um, be said. But this night has been keeping themselves from moving forward in this. Okay, I feel like it was underlying energies related to family and um, all of this work, okay? Bringing forth a new action of passion, okay? in but I don't see anything flipped around okay all right so on this coming together current energy okay with the four of pentacles definitely was manifested okay definitely was called forward um, you know exactly how special this relationship is um, I feel like there was work that had to be done okay for this love offering to come forward. Hearts, again, like I said, hearts had to be healed. I feel like there was a decision to be made, okay? And two different paths that you easily could have gone to, but this death really shows that um, a path was chosen, which is this new, okay, Ace of Cups, this new foundation, this new healed energy. Okay, and it's because, again, manifesting. This is what you have wished for. This is what you desired. Okay, wish is fulfilled. Nine of cups here. And there again, second time here, there is that sunshine. All right, you needed the happiness. It was lacking the happiness. All right. Yeah, it was lacking the happiness. I feel like this end of cycle, okay, is because you've been very guarded, okay, to something. This is my not in my bed. So it could have been guarded against intimacy with someone. Um, this healing heart is bringing balance back. I feel like you had to heal your heart because there was some sort of truth that came out that um, I feel like it really blasted you. Like you were just like, it was just like a shock to the system is what it feels like, okay? Future energy with this balance, okay? Coming into your inner strength, um, really figuring out how this person feels, okay? I feel like the unknowing, okay, probably with this person being in the hermit energy, okay, was like a pre-tower moment for you, caused a lot of heartache. Um, however, I feel like this person, okay, they came forward with communication or they, you know, they will come forward with communication, okay, and passion to let you know how they feel. 
I feel like they were very intimidated by you. They were watching you work on yourself. Okay. And so they kind of had to get themselves in the right mindset. All right. They had to get into the right mindset to be able to offer you the commitment because this is a very different level of commitment than they have dealt with in the past. Okay. This is probably the first time this person has chosen from the heart. Okay. I feel like they've made a lot of logical choices before. Okay. Yeah. Higher. They got into their intuitive self and realized what it was that they desired. Yeah, because in the past they've been very inwardly deceptive about the choices that they've made and it has not worked out well, okay? But now they are fully into their heart and into their passion and they're like, yeah, this is everything that I desire. This is all the passion that I could ever ask for. Okay, so again, this person, okay, I feel like there was some recalibration that needed to happen within them, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, okay, in order to really be able to make this choice, this foundation solid, um, they had to work through some issues because I feel like they were very guarded against this. That could have also been you, but you went through a transformation, okay? You went through a transformation and you found your truth. You found what you desired to move forward. Okay. And now you know for sure that this is what you want. Okay. Bringing it into form. The healing hearts. Okay. Working through that energy is what allowed this to take place. Okay, there was a completion, right, that had to happen. Okay, breaking allegiances. So definitely it was leaving behind what wasn't serving you, whether that was a person or if that was just beliefs within your relationship, that had to end. That is that completion, okay? And be the hunter, not the hunted. Okay, so you're being asked here to step up, okay, in your intuitive knowing and just go after the things that you desire in life because you've done a full upgrade, okay, on your intuitive being and you are definitely ready, okay, to undertake so much more than you have in the past. And it may